Good evening, everyone. This is Soul Work, and we are live here on Shaw TV, and I'm your host, Jenny Cousins. And we have officially opened up the phone lines, and that number to give us a call, Calgary is 403-539-6710. And just, just to let you know again that we had Neil Enoch on last week's show, and we were giving away his books to the callers who were phoning in. And Neil had his briefcase stolen and he had those numbers in his briefcase. So this is why he hasn't called you. So if you are watching on tonight's show, if you can go to my website and send me a message uh, with your name and phone number, go to soulworkwithjenny.com and let me know who you are. And then I will pass that message on to Neil for you and he will get in touch with you. So just hang in there, Calgary. And we have Delray Dumont on tonight's show with Daisy. Mm -hmm. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute. Mm. She is so well behaved. She is, yeah. I just love her energy. <laughs> just love her energy. She's just so calm, cool, and collective. Kind of <laughs> like her mama. Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, the energy with the animal. Like yeah. my dogs were always calm and stuff. and. Um, you know, and your energy is very calm, so there's Daisy there being calm. Yeah. Yes, and, and Delry is an artist. Yes. An amazing artist. And she has a store in Didsbury, a native art gallery with mm -hmm. many products inside. Mm -hmm. Many really good products inside. <laughs> <laughs> I'm avoiding going there right now because <laughs> I know what will happen with that credit card. <laughs> and I wanted to bring up actually this like phenomenal photo. I just, I love this. Can you share with our viewers? Yeah, that's who my this is? mother. Uh, that photo was taken when she was about 15 years old. Uh, again, she's, um, she's First Nations from Onion Lake Cree Nations, and she's gone now, but she's always been my inspiration. Um, she taught me a lot of things in life, and uh, she was so gifted. She was so talented, like she was good at knitting and sewing, and she knitted till the day she died, literally. And um, yeah, I, I just have to have her on my wall because um, she's been a, well, everything yeah. to me. Yeah. It's, it's so beautiful, the frame. And I mean, this picture, it, it it looks like a brand new photo mm -hmm. and, and I mean she's gorgeous she, she could be a model <laughs> like you guys look I can see totally the resemblance there mm -hmm. that's an amazing photo that's what I thought no I gotta I gotta show this yeah because Thanks. it's I love that I yeah. love the energy on that Thanks. has the frame ever moved at all when you've you've had it hung up no no okay yeah. Might now. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you working on now? Like, are you currently working on a on a new painting, or? Um, I'm just finishing up on a painting right now, and it's kind of like a series and oh. of native women. Um, so, I'm just finishing one up. Should be done this week. Um, lately, uh, well, last couple of weeks, I just celebrated my one year anniversary, so winding down on that. Oh, wow. And then um, um, now I'm geared up for hosting some classes. Oh, good so for you. So, baby moccasin classes, <gasps> smudging oh. classes. Um, I had a Paverpal class, and coming up in December will be an essential oil class. And I just like learning myself. And yeah. I also, um, if, uh, well, there's usually a fee involved, and yeah. the facilitators take all the money. My thing is, I just want to get people into the store and see my store. Oh, and, yeah. And just enjoy the experience. Yeah. And, um, um, and then Christmas, of course, is around the corner, so stocking the shelves and uh, country Christmas is coming on December 2nd oh. in Didsbury oh. it's from 5 to 11. And so all the retail outlets will be open. Um, I'll have hot chocolate and cookies and uh, face painting for kids. And hopefully most of the artisans will be there. Oh, great. Yeah, is that like on a Saturday or something? It's a Friday evening. Friday evening, okay. Yeah, there'll be horse, horse 
course, sleigh rides. Oh, really? And oh, Santa, of course. I'd love to go to that. Yeah, oh, it'll be that. fun. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> so you got to go, Calgary. Yeah. <laughs> There'll be crowds now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we do have a caller that's called in. Ooh. I think it's she's going to ask Daisy. Our question, so. yes. And that the caller we have on right now is Teresa. Teresa, you have a question for us. Hello. Hi. Yeah. So my question is Holy smokes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> my, my question is, we've had a few years in our family. Just kind of wondering, you know, what, how 2017 might look for us. Um, I heard half of that only, unfortunately. Um, can you repeat that? Sorry? Yeah, yeah. So we've had a few family health scares okay. in the 2016, and I'm just wondering what 2017 might hold for our family. Yeah, 2016, actually, the, the reason why there's a lot of health scares right now is because this is year of completion. and. What happens is, is, is completion, things come to a head. And even other people out there, you might have noticed that all of a sudden you're hearing somebody who has like a major health situation going on or a major scare. Um, all of that energy is actually pretty normal no matter how kind of crazy that sounds right now because what's happening is is with this year being completion and endings and situations getting resolved um, the universe is bringing for certain things that we have to pay attention to let's say so sometimes you know with other people they're more extreme than the next so when it's I even had the same thing happen this year but um, you know it's like how we deal with the situation paying attention to the signs and it's all about how we handled that situation so if, as long as right now with your family situation you know some of it is going to clear okay and some of it is unfortunately going to linger on for a little bit so um you know what i would recommend actually is is for you know each person let's say that is having the issue to really take a look at the situation from within because we really can heal our bodies from within. I mean, of course, we need the medical and combination of everything. So some of it is gonna heal and some of it is gonna linger on, just to let you know. But, but 2017, um, you know, d does bring, um, you know, more completion for, for your family yet to come you know, with a lot of good things as well. So it, it's just the balance with everything and, and surrendering the situation. So, okay. yeah. yeah, yeah, it's kind of an open question really, so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yes, you're, you're very welcome and, and thanks for calling in. But there, there has been a lot of health scares, you, you know, this year um, with a lot of different things and, you know, coming to surface as I call it. You know, so it, it's just, it's looking at the realities with things and like, oh my goodness, you know, how do I handle this and how can I resolve this issue? And it's a buildup of a lot of emotions and stuff as well that needs mm -hmm. to clear out. So it's like the supermoon energy from Monday. You know, emotions are more intense. Situations can be a little bit more extreme. So again, you know, a lot of lessons learned and a lot of different things and, and you know, looking at it and letting go what no longer serves us. Is, okay, is, yes. Holy smokes, don't know what's going on with the phone lines tonight, but it's getting interesting, might I say, super moon you. energy. Yeah. You're very welcome. Thank you, Teresa, for calling in. Very welcome. And we have another caller, and it's Akram, if I'm pronouncing that right. Akram? Yes. Yeah, is that how you pronounce your name? Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yes, and, and you have a question for us. Yes, my I'm, I've got sort of a dilemma. I am alone, single. Um, I have a woman friend who is overseas and is interested in coming to Canada to be with me. I have a woman friend in USA who is interested in me. I have a woman friend in Calgary. Oh my! <laughs> and well, it's 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 not what you might might it might appear to be. Yeah. Um, anyway, the one in Calgary I'm close as to, and. Our relationship is such that we cannot live without each other and we cannot live with each other. Now, that's my dilemma. Should I stay in Calgary or should I move to USA? 
What what I would do honestly right now is um, is what I'm really really sensing is um, y you know we can have you know ten people we're interested in or one or two or five or how many let's say um, but what I always recommend is to really really get to know each person y you know if we ha if we jump into a situation too quickly with someone then that can fall apart as quickly so my suggestion to you would be to get to know these women and find out what you want and what they want and see if there's any type of negotiations and really just kind of you know even if you have to go to the US or wherever you know these women are located go go meet them and you know don't jump into anything as quickly so really get to know them yes. and 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 just you know be be honest about the situation you know be open with them as well and just say you know what I'm just getting to know you know each person and you know just see what happens that Thanks. yeah because one of these yeah mm -hmm. one of these women yeah you are gonna you are gonna make a decision on um, coming by the end of December I see that's that's what I was interested in your advice is good but uh, what I was interested in do you psychically see anything in my future um, with these women or in what area uh, both actually staying in Canada or moving to USA and w and with don't know what's going on with the phone line I don't see you staying here Pardon? I don't I don't see you staying here in Calgary uh, you see me in I do see I do see a move with you next year yes I do actually I so in in the meantime um, you know get to know these women and um, I'm really feeling that the, the one woman um, you're going to be more friends with than a relationship with. You know, we can we can really get along with somebody really well and really well and have lots of things in common. But but sometimes it's better just to be that person's friend, you know, a really good friend. And sometimes, you know, to overstep the boundaries in a relationship, we can regret it. But I, I really feel that you are going to be moving. So just take your time getting to know them. Honestly, do that. Will my future be, you, do you see the future? It's good. Actually? Yeah, it, it's good. Like everything, I see you by the water, actually, if that gives you any type of indication. It does. So there you go. Yeah, it Th does. There you go. And thank you for calling in. We've got other callers on hold already. And, and thank you for calling in and just take your time. Take your time. <laughs> Getting to know these women. <laughs> Don't, no rushing. <laughs> no rushing, we'll send Daisy out to see you. <laughs> and we have another caller on the phone. And our next caller is Karen. Karen, thank you for calling in. You have a question for us. Hi. Hi. Um, hi. It's my year, past year has been rather hectic. Um, work-wise relationship and health and generally things are much smoother I'm optimistic um, however I'm looking for change um, slow things down uh, get my health back on track and even the possibility of something I've just started uh, work-wise and do you see that change in career for me um, this, you know, as I brought up 2016 earlier, it is a year of completion. So actually, you are right on track. Um, I got to answer you kind of quickly because we're getting right to the end already. But um, you are clearing out a lot of energy this year. So keep doing what you're doing. Um, the the job does have promise, but I I honestly see that next year that you're going to have another opportunity being presented to you. You don't have to take it, but really consider it because you're going to be moving into something with an even bigger opportunity for you. Your health is because of stress related. So, and I'm getting the wrap up sign already. So if that answers your question really quick, Karen, thank you for calling. Good, thank you. <laughs> yes, and I wanted to thank Delray and Daisy for coming on the show tonight. Oh, very, very, very welcome. And I do suggest you check out your store because it's it's wonderful energy. Lots of, if, especially if you like native crafts, oh, and arts and stuff. And oh, it's gorgeous, gorgeous. Thanks. 
<laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> and again, for those of you who, who phoned in last week for Neil's book, give me a call, soulworkwithjenny.com. Go email me and I'll have them call you. This is Soul Work. I'm your host, Jenny Cousins. Good night, everyone. We'll be live next Wednesday evening at 6.30. Take care.